Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, quadrilateral uh, A, B, C, D. As you can see in this given diagram, such that the area of this uh, quadrilateral has been given to us as 16 centimeter square and its uh, side length uh, B, C is uh, 5 centimeter. And moreover, uh, this uh, side A, D equal to this side uh, C, D. And furthermore, bear in mind that this angle is a 90 degree angle and likewise this angle is 90 degrees as well. And now our task is to find the perimeter of this uh, quadrilateral ABCD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and we can see that only this side length is known which is 5 centimeter where this side uh, is unknown likewise this side length is unknown and this side is unknown as well I'm going to label this side uh, X and I'm going to label uh, this side uh, Y and since uh, this side is equal to this side so this side has got to be Y as well so therefore uh, the perimeter of this uh, quadrilateral is going to be simply 5 plus x plus y plus y. So therefore the perimeter of this quadrilateral is going to be 5 plus x plus y and plus y once again. If we simplify that is going to give us 5 plus x plus 2 times y. And now our task is to find the value of uh, x uh, and we are going to find the value of uh, y as well. And here's our next step. I'm going to connect uh, these two vertices A and C. As you can see in this uh, next step, as a result we are ended up with these two right triangles. This right triangle uh, ABC and this uh, other right triangle uh, ADC. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this quadrilateral uh, ABCD area is going to be the sum of these two right triangles. This area of triangle ABC plus the area of the other triangle uh, ADC as well. And now we know that our this quadrilateral area has been given to us as 16 centimeter square. So therefore now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC and the area of this other triangle uh, ADC as well. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, right triangle ABC. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area is always equal to a half times uh, base times the height of the triangle. And here the dimensions of this uh, triangle ABC are uh, X uh, and 5. So therefore uh, the area of this triangle ABC is going to be a half uh, times uh, X uh, times uh, 5 and if we simplify that is going to give us uh, 5 x uh, divided by 2 and now we are going to calculate the area of this other triangle ADC as well and we are going to use the very same area of a triangle formula as well so therefore uh, the area of this uh, triangle ADC is going to be a half times uh, side length is y times y once again Let's simplify that is going to give us uh, y square divided by 2. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, given equation. We know this uh, quadrilateral ABCD area is uh, 16 is going to be equal to this triangle ABC area is uh, 5x divided by 2. So I'm going to write down 5x uh, divided by 2 plus uh, the area of the other triangle ADC is y squared divided by 2. So I'm going to write down y squared divided by 2 as well. Now I'm going to remove this fraction by multiplying by 2 across the board with each and every term. And here we can see this 2 and 2 is gone. Likewise this 2 and 2 is gone as well. So I can write 5x plus y square is going to be equal to 2 times 16 is going to give us uh, 32 and I'm going to label this one as our equation number one 
And now let's focus once again on this right triangle ABC. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here is our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, uh, our hypotenuse is uh, ac, whereas our two other legs are x uh, and 5. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, x square plus 5 square is going to be equal to the hypotenuse uh, ac square. Let's simplify. We could write uh, AC square is going to be equal to X square plus uh, 25. And I'm going to label this one as our equation number 2. And now let's focus on this other right triangle ADC. We are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle as well. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again. And in our case, our hypotenuse is this side AC whereas our two other legs are y and y. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got y square plus y square is going to be equal to our hypotenuse is ac square. Let's simplify. We could write uh, ac square is going to be equal to 2 times uh, y square. And I'm going to label this one as our equation number 3. And here we are ended up with these two equations, equation 2 and equation 3. We are going to compare these two equations and we can see our left hand sides are identical. So therefore, we can equate the right hand sides as well. So therefore, we could write this one as uh, x square plus 25 is going to be equal to 2 times uh, y square. And I'm going to label this one as our equation number 4. And now let's focus on this uh, equation 1. And here I have copied down equation 1. Now I'm going to multiply across the board by 2 with each and every term. So therefore this equation is going to become 10x plus 2 times y square is going to be equal to 64. And now we know from this equation for our 2y square value is x square plus 25. So therefore I'm going to substitute this 2y square value as x square plus 25 over here. So therefore we are going to have 10x and I'm going to substitute that 2y square with x square plus 25 is going to be equal to 64. And now I'm going to subtract 64 from both sides. This is gone. Let's uh, put this left hand side in a descending order. So we can write down uh, x square plus uh, 10 times uh, x uh, minus uh, 39 is going to be equal to 0. So thus we are ended up with this uh, quadratic equation x square plus 10x minus 39. And we are going to solve it for x. Now let's focus on this constant negative 39. This could be broken down to negative 3 and positive 13. And if we add these two numbers, negative 3 plus 13 is indeed is going to give us positive 10 in the middle. So therefore our factors are going to be x minus 3 times x plus 13 is going to be equal to 0. We are going to separate these two factors. x minus 3 is going to be equal to 0. And this other factor x plus 13 is going to give us 0 as well. So therefore first equation our x value is going to be positive 3. For this second equation x value is going to be negative 13. And now we know that x value cannot be a negative number. So therefore we are going to reject this negative value of x and we are going to accept uh, x equal to 3 value. So thus our x value turns out to be positive 3. And now let's focus once again on this equation 1. And here I have copied down equation 1. And in this equation 1 I'm going to substitute uh, this uh, x value for 3 over here. So therefore I'm going to replace uh, that x uh, with 3 over here 
plus uh, y square equals to 32. So therefore we got 15 plus y square equals to 32. And now we are going to subtract 15 from both sides. This is gone. So therefore y square value turns out to be 17. And now I'm going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. So therefore our y value turns out to be positive square root of 17. So thus our this side uh, AB turns out to be 4. Our this side AD turns out to be square root of 17. And likewise this uh, side CD is square root of 17 as well. And here's our final step. Now we are going to calculate the perimeter of this uh, quadrilateral. And we are going to substitute this uh, x value as uh, 3 over here. For y value, we are going to substitute uh, square root of 17. So therefore, the perimeter P of this uh, quadrilateral is going to be 5 plus 3 plus 2 times uh, square root of uh, 17. Let's simplify furthermore. So perimeter P is going to be 8 plus 2 times square root of 17 centimeter. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations the perimeter of this quadrilateral turns out to be 8 plus 2 times square root of 17 centimeter and that is going to be approximately equal to 16.25 centimeter as well and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.